Hello, I'm Ash, and today I wanted to share how easy it is to authenticate your Kaliju May Flower Jelly Lipstick. So in every Kailuji May box, there is a label on the side and it has a unique QR and 16 digit code, which you can reveal once you scratch off the protective coat. Now I started out with a smooth ended product and it didn't scratch the surface, so I switched to a sharp blade which easily removed this protective coat. Now if you're not familiar with these types of labels, they were introduced in China to counter fake products. These labels are often water, fire, and scratch resistant, so they'll be very hard to destroy. They also use a special type of paper and ink and sometimes will also feature a hologram watermark which makes them extremely difficult to duplicate. Once you have everything scratched off, you can now see the complete QR and 16 digit code and to verify your Kailuji May Flower Jelly Lipstick, there are several methods which I will show you. So I started out with their website because that's all I could read on the label and through trial and error I was able to find the link to their authentication website which is the China Commodity Anti-Fake Inquiries Center. Now all you have to do is simply enter the 16 digit code into the search box and then press enter. Within a few seconds, you should receive a message in Chinese, which I can't read, so I will use Google Translate to quickly decipher that for me. Here is the translation, and it says the product is authentic, but I don't think it translated it correctly, so here is my interpretation, and hopefully I did a better job. So there you have it. This is an authentic, official Kailuji May Flower Jelly Lipstick. Now if you try to enter this code in again, you'll get a message, but it's different. It'll actually tell you that this code has been used and when the original date and time of the code was first entered. The original message will also never appear again, so pay careful attention the first time. Moving on, the second and easiest way to authenticate your Kailuji May lipstick is with the QR code. Now when you scan this code, it'll give you a link to a website which will direct you to the same website from earlier, but this time it seems like there are pictures of the product and information about the brand. Again, the message looks similar to our second web entry, but now the counter has increased from 2 to 4, and that's because it uses the same 16 digit code. Finally, the last way to authenticate your product is by phone. You can either call or message this phone number. So if you're in China, this will be really easy. All you have to do is use your WeChat or QQ app. Now, if you're in the United States and you don't understand Chinese, you probably shouldn't use this service, but here is a number anyways if you guys are interested in trying this out. So those are the steps to authenticating your Kailuji May lipstick. Now if your label has already been scratched, if your 16 digit code has already been used, or if your 16 digit code does not work, then you're probably getting a counterfeit product. Well that's it for today. I hope this helps some of you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Ash and I'll see you guys next time.